Hi everybody, this is Steve Adela, your Las Vegas Condo Insider, and I'm standing in the kitchen of one of my listings at Panorama Towers, uh, Unit 2501, located in Tower 1 on the 25th floor. It's one of the most unique floor plans that I've seen at Panorama Towers. It's actually located in the on the 25th floor on the curvature of the Dragon Flythrough, one of the architectural features of this building. Um, it's a two-bedroom, three-bath uh, unit with 2,469 square feet, two assigned parkings, and a one storage unit. This is an incredible unit. It's been fully upgraded, fully updated. I wanna show you this uh, property tour, but before I do, can you please like and subscribe this, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos that I post. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Las Vegas Condo Insider. So let's turn this camera around. I wanna so show you this really unique unit. It's a beautiful unit, and uh, let's get this uh, property tour started. All right, folks, so I turned the camera around, and as you can see, that incredible glass facing out east towards the Las Vegas Strip. Um, I'm setting, like I said, in the kitchen, so uh, let's go back to the entryway and uh, so we can actually get to see this beautiful, beautiful unit. Um, like I said before, it was uh, fully upgraded, fully updated about a year ago, and uh, so let's start here. Here's the entryway. They put this beautiful tile up on the, uh, the wall and along the floor. It's one of the upgrades. And as we enter, you get this beautiful, expansive view of the Las Vegas Strip. Um, the owner left up the, the uh, mounting TV mounts uh, for the new owner. Um, we're actually in escrow right now. We put it in an escrow within 30 days. Uh, it's a fantastic unit, like I said before. And they'll walk over into the living room. This is kind of like the living room area that the, the current owner um, put this kind of divide this wall here to separate the TV room from the living room. So there's actually one of the balconies um, that faces out towards the Las Vegas Strip. And you have this beautiful open concept uh, floor plan. Um, and you, you know, it's just wide open view. Uh, the living room was right here. And then the dining room was actually set in this area. That's where those two light fixtures are there. They had a mini bar. Um, built-in mini bar with that mirror in the back to kind of give that expansive view also of the uh, Las Vegas Strip so kind of reflection um, but as you can see there's the Bellagio City Center Aria Cosmopolitan all the way down to the Mandalay Bay you can see the airport and the uh, mountains over by uh, Henderson from uh, this um, from this floor 25th floor it's a beautiful beautiful unit and uh, Quite, quite incredible view at night. This, you know, this um, the Las Vegas Strip lights up, and you have the fireworks shows. You know, during Christmas, sorry, during New Year's, Fourth of July, uh, Chinese New Year, and then I believe they also have one for Mexican Independence Day. So yeah. Anyway, uh, here's the kitchen. The owner did a fantastic job of putting up all the backsplash all along the backside, this metallic tile, and then uh, refinish the cabinets in that, that dark gray. It's a, a really, really nice uh, combination of colors. It, it was really well, um, and it goes really well with the uh, stainless steel monogram, GE monogram appliances, the fridge, the microwave, the oven, the smoke extractor. Like I've, I've mentioned in previous videos, I love these smoke extractors because if you're a bad cook like I am, it just takes up the, uh, the smoke right away and it has that boost button, which is awesome. The five burner cooktop, the uh, dishwasher, and um, uh, the sink. And I love the middle burner here, uh, the cooktop here at Panorama Towers. It's a big burner in the middle, so you're able to put those pasta pans uh, in there, or the pasta pot, sorry, and uh, cook up your pasta. Lots of... Uh, uppers and lower base cabinets as you can see um, yeah there's a lot of lot of room for storage pots pans cooking utensils and uh, all of your dry goods anyway um, massive breakfast bar here uh, the owner had five um, four or five bar stools and uh, there was just enough space to you know eat breakfast elbow room and it's a very social kitchen as you can see I'll open it up here so you can actually see the expansiveness of this unit and uh, yeah there's nothing really obstru obst obstructing the uh, the conversation and uh, free-flowing uh, uh, you know socializing so let's walk over to this part of the uh, the unit and this is what they use as a TV room they put this uh, divide here in the wall so or this wall divider here so that you can uh, 
uh, divide, or sorry, separate the TV room from the living room, even though they had a TV in this room. It was a lot more private here, darker at night. Uh, believe it or not, the strip gives off a lot of light at night with the, uh, with the lights. So uh, it's a nice sized room. Uh, you have, on this side, you have a view of pretty much the northwest part of Las Vegas from the Palms, the Rio, the Martin. So, you know, it's, it's a beautiful view, the 25th floor. You can see all the way down to the valley, all the way to Mount Charleston, uh, mountain range from here. So, yeah, tons and tons of glass facing uh, the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, the previous owner um, had a, a like, kind of like a, a leather couch chair here and have coffee and wine, and he had this awesome view sitting on his laptop and work. So that was really cool. Another cool feature of this unit, which is a, a must at Panorama Towers, is the power shades throughout the unit. Um, the owner put the power shades, it's the ultra silent ones. So sh he or she added um, the power shades in this portion of the unit, did not do it here. Um, I don't know why, I, I haven't asked that, but they didn't do it here. I think they just wanted that view open all the time, which is a good idea, uh, but they did it in the master bedroom and all the other bedrooms. So uh, we'll go to the balcony after. Let's walk into the second bedroom. Second bedroom has also a great view of the Martin and then also out towards the Northwest, like I said before, to the Palms and uh, the Rio and out towards uh, Mount Charleston. Um, you have a, it's, a, it's actually a pretty good sized closet. It looks small. However, when you open it up, you know, it's got some depth to it and then uh, you have enough space up top and then also that rail to hang all, uh, all your, you know, shirts and stuff. So bottom, plenty of space to, to buy some of those uh, uh, shoe storage uh, little boxes or whatever they're called, little shelves. So a lot, a lot of space in that unit or uh, sorry, that closet. Um, so yeah, definitely enough space. The owner had a piano here, a little exercise bike and a king size bed with two nightstands. Yeah, so this is a lot of space. Doesn't, you know, the, the lens on the camera doesn't really do, uh, uh, doesn't really, you know, showcase the actual size of it, but yeah, it is a pretty good size unit, or sorry, uh, room. And as we walk out of the second, you have the ensuite bath. So you have his and hers, tons of, uh, of space in the vanity for storage. And that beautiful tub, six foot four, and that fit perfectly in that tub. I love the tub in Tower One. It's that freestanding tub, super sexy. Tower One, uh, sorry, Tower Two has the built-in tub, which I'm not a big fan of, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that mirror and fixture, I love it. It's so cool. It reminds me of like a disco ball. Um, sand in shower, toilet, beautiful bathroom. They did a great job of uh, finishing it and adding the little lighting fixtures and everything making it look real modern. So as we work out of the second bedroom, we will, let's go out to the balcony actually. Take a quick little look, it's hot today. So it's about 109 today in Las Vegas. Uh, the owner put the tile out, out here. And as you can see, I come out and you have the expansive view of the Las Vegas Strip all the way down to South Strip. And as you can see the bend of the building, that's actually where that dragon fly through designs at. So uh, Panorama Tower is a little bit of an oval shape, so you can't actually see the stadium from here, the Las Vegas Raiders Stadium, but you have the entire you know, rest of the strip, which is beautiful. Harmon Street Bridge, I have a video, which if you touch on the link above that I just put up there, you can actually see my, uh, my walk from Panorama Towers to City Center. 10 minute walk and you're in all the action of the heart of the strip. I call it the 50 yard line of the Las Vegas Strip. So anyway, let's walk back in. And yeah, it's hot outside, wow. Um, so now as we walk back towards the entry, uh, way um, they have they built in these uh, this kind of sitting bookshelf you have uh, bookshelves you sit down a little bit of space down there a uh, little entryway closet which is awesome you, you know for your heavy coats and all that which you don't really need in Vegas until about October maybe November even and uh, yeah anyway here's my camera gear I was doing some video work but yeah so you have your uh, laundry room some cabinets uh, stack uh, washer dryer so Anyway, as we walk past and to the right here, we have our powder room. Um, our powder room is fully upgraded, fully updated. Beautiful, modern tile all the way to the top with this uh, really fun grout kind of inlays, of the uh, metal. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome powder room. Definitely, you know, uh, adds to the, to the whole modern feel of, and the fluidity of that design of the entire unit. So yeah, the owners did a really, really good job. I love that floating vanity. Looks really cool, real modern. So 
hi everybody. Anyway, um, and as you kind of work your way through to the unit to uh, the south side of the unit, um, this is the master bedroom. So the master bedroom, like I said before, is one of the coolest master bedrooms. It has that curved feature because of the building design. And they had a king size bed with two vanities, a bookshelf, and then they had a kind of a workstation here. Um, but as you can see, power, uh, power shades on top, there's the city center, and you could see all the way to the airport, uh, past uh, New York, New York, and Excalibur. And then uh, I'll show you that outside feature in a second. Uh, they put a Murphy bed here for the grandkids. Um, so that's a built-in Murphy bed. Uh, massive walk-in closet, which is always a bonus at Panorama Towers, as I mentioned before in previous videos. Uh, one thing Panorama Towers uh, is th was designed of a, like kind of a, a well, it, not kind of, it is a modern design, which they really, really did not add a lot of storage space in some of the units. But in some of the units, like this one, for example, they did a great job. Did a great job because you have tons of closets, big kitchen, big vanities. Um, anyway, as we work our way through, here is the second bathroom and uh, that feature I really like. So that stays with the unit. Uh, once again, a built-in tub, big shower, enough for two people. Um, they did the black splash you know, behind the vanity here. They matched the colors, they did a really good job. Modern uh, faucets, you know, more of a, that modern touch. And then they matched it with the, uh, the lighting fixtures up on top, which is really cool. Um, vanity is big, I love it. You can fit everything in here. Um, you know, Toilet area in the back, and like I said, more storage, which I love about this unit. And it has the matching handles. I love that, what the owner did. Everything, every little feature is just matching. They went with the square theme here, and then with the square, um, kind of you know rectangular, square, sharp angle, 90 degree angle, um, all, all throughout. So everything kind of has that theme, even the uh, towel rack. So love that, love that. It's just those little nuances, those little touches, it just adds so much to, to a unit. So, you know, uh, linen, towel, uh, closet there, which is great. Anyway, so let's work our way back out. And as we work into the massive balcony, look at this thing, huge, huge balcony, great size balcony. And you have a, an incredible expansive view now of the entire Las Vegas Strip, which you have two balconies in this unit, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, this is, this, is, this is really, really unique and uh, private here. Uh, not so much there. The, you have actually the 25th, 26th, and 27th floor. People can look down and see, but you know, it's everybody at Panorama Tower. It's a great community. Everybody keeps to themselves. So it's very social, but you know, everybody respects each other's privacy, which is great. Um, you know, they had a, a lot of uh, patio furniture out here, a little couch, they had some chairs. It's a fantastic spot for the spring and the winter. Um, yeah, spring, fall, winter is great to be out here. Summertime, maybe bring out, you know, uh, some patio chairs that kind of lay back so you can take in the sun, but you can't be out here for too long because it is really hot in Vegas in the summer. Um, go out to the pool, t uh, you know, beautiful amenities at Panorama Tower, so I just go out to the pool and hang out there. Anyway, let's uh, come back out to the main room and uh, we'll close out this property tour and just give you kind of one more expansive little view here and uh, we will close this one out. Now we'll turn this camera around and we'll see you in a second. So that's the property tour folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, we put this unit into escrow within 30 days. So we, you know, I can't sell this one anymore. It's been sold. However, if you want more information on any of my other listings at Panorama Towers or any of the high rises in the Las Vegas Valley, contact me. My information is directly below this video in the description section. Don't forget to like, like I said before this video, subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And don't forget to follow me on uh, uh, Instagram at Las Vegas Condo Insider. I hope everybody's doing well and we'll see you on the next property tour, folks. Thank you very much for stopping by.